from more than 100,000 tigers a century ago, the number remaining in the wild has now plummeted to around 3,200. The tiger has only one natural enemy, humankind. The tiger's demise is already upsetting nature's delicate balance. The eradication of this top-tier predator threatens the integrity of the natural systems that also sustain human life. Of the nine subspecies of tiger, three are already extinct. The remaining six is on their last legs. They exist in shrinking pockets of Asia and Russia's far east. Even these survivors are under constant threat. As urban areas encroach on their natural habitat and hunting grounds, while their prey base also dwindles. Though many laws are in place to conserve the tiger, loopholes, tax law enforcement, and lucrative profit margins allow poachers and traders to slip through legal nets. What we have seen that these poachers have a very, very strong network. They are monitoring mainly the officers, where they are going, at what time they are going out, whether they are going home, whether they are going to their headquarters, all these things they monitor. Long and uncontrollable borders connecting India, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam and China allow smugglers to set up supply lines and trafficking networks. Along Myanmar's border with China, the last remaining markets in Asia dealing openly in endangered species do a roaring trade. On display in this stall, is an astonishing selection of endangered species. Closing these markets is a key battle on the front line of tiger conservation. The border towns of Pangsan and Muang La are focal points of this vast problem. Outside the control of Myanmar's central government, they are hotbeds of vice attracting wildlife traffickers, gamblers, and prostitutes from different countries. Sex tourists fuel up on tiger bone wine they believe is an aphrodisiac. This row of shop houses in downtown Mang La looks unassuming, but it's the pulsing heart of illegal wildlife trade in Southeast Asia, with no fear of legal repercussions. Traders and customers converge at this designer boutique of endangered species. The worship of animals is the oldest religion on Earth. In this pantheon of Asian deities, the tiger is the ultimate totem of power and sexual potency. Its majesty is aligned with the stars and the Chinese zodiac, and myths of the tiger's gait and agility still remain. The consumption of their bones and other body parts are still seen as shortcuts to health and virility. Unless these superstitions are laid to rest, the slaughter and consumption will continue. As the tiger becomes a rarity, prices are at a premium. For the nouveau riche of Asia, they are symbols of status and spending power. Tiger superstitions are still perpetuated within Asian religious clergy. Over a thousand years ago, um, Chinese medicine used tiger bones in treating rheumatism, arthritis, and you know injuries or pain. Confiscated goods provide a body of evidence that the tiger trade is big business. The insatiable appetite for tiger products, bear paws and bile, has driven these creatures to the brink of extinction. The dilemma 
is compounded by rural poverty that drives poachers to hunt down species with high price tags. A border crossing between Myanmar and Thailand, the border town of Tachilek, is a major hub for wildlife traders. Very few are willing to talk. From here, the smuggling network extends all the way to the Myanmar Chinese border. Even though there are many bans on tiger products across Asia and many pharmaceutical alternatives, the demand is killing off the supply. There are other alternatives. This is not needed for practice of Chinese medicine. Educating people about the scientific facts to eliminate these beliefs will take generations. This is far too long to prevent extinction. At the current rate of decline, tigers will be gone within the next decade. Even poachers find it increasingly difficult to get their prey. <laughs> Special Region 4 and Special Region 2 in Myanmar are ground zero for tiger trade. No international body has ever engaged the leaders here on wildlife conservation. They are eager to find solutions that would see these markets shut down once and for all. In the battle for tiger conservation, cooperation by the leaders in control would constitute a major victory. It would pave the way for eliminating trade and consumption in one of the last frontiers for illegal wildlife trade. Controlled by ethnic minorities, these special regions are highlands where conservation legislation needs to be established. Parameters must be set. Existing laws from CITES the Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species must be implemented. Unless gateways like this are plugged, the extinction of the tiger is a real and imminent possibility. What is needed is the collective show of strength from world leaders to stop these criminals in their tracks. The bureaucrat can make a difference. A good senior officer in a district can make a difference. A park director who's excellent knows what to do can make a huge difference. But where are they? Why are they so few and far between? We are all waiting. The Global Tiger Summit is an opportunity for governments from around the world to put aside their differences and come together for the first time in history to save a species from extinction. As we learn more about this amazing world in which we all live, the interdependence of all life forms becomes increasingly clear. We are all connected in a great web of life. Yet today, we are destroying that web. We face the greatest mass extinction since the era of the dinosaurs. Species are disappearing one by one, including that most glorious of all the great cats, the tiger. 
Many of the world's great thinkers believe that a society is judged by the way it treats its weakest members, such as children, the elderly, and animals. So we must fight cruelty and ignorance. No more drug tiger cubs. No more adults killed for their body parts. And we must stop destroying the forests where tigers have roamed for some two million years or we shall be ill-judged by future generations. The time for action is now, or it will be too late.